Yo, what's going on everybody? Back at it. New video. Getting back in the groove of things. As you can see, I got some shoes to show you today. So, today's the uh, first day of CES here in Vegas. So, we've been kind of getting ready to deal with the mob that comes in during CES. Catching up everything. What are you? See, yeah, started today, bro. Today's the seventh, seven, eighth, and ninth. But uh, see, um, you want to be in this video? Look, special appearances. Well, I mean, I, I slid over, bro, but I didn't mean I was gonna. I didn't think I was gonna have to slide over the whole counter. Jesus, you see this guy pushed me right out of the screen. Good thing for that wide angle. Uh, nah, so uh, yeah, CES is today, which is cool because we get to see firsthand kind of all the crazy electronic stuff that comes out, right, before it comes out and some of the new technologies and then you get to see some of those guys come in here and then yeah. they tell you more behind the stories. It's, it's cool, man. We get to see people or interact with people from all and walks of life. I want to say, too, it's like the biggest convention. Yeah, it is one of the bigger conventions. So it, it brings up the big A problem. lot of people, yeah. So. So, um, over the last couple days, last week, you guys saw we posted a bunch of big receipts, a bunch of crazy stuff sold. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff being worked on with those shoes. Some of these shoes actually are part of those transactions yeah. that you saw. So, um, the person that bought them was kind enough to allow us to film a video on these before they actually are gone out of the store because we wanted to show these because you really don't see them every day. And we've been kind of fortunate to get multiple. Yeah, and you won't see them all. Yeah, like this. Like this. Unless you're on my Instagram or on this YouTube channel. Then you might see a few. So, talk to me about the red ones. What sizes did we have or do we have? And um, what do they sell for? Right now we have a 10 and a 12. And what are they listed at? We had a nine and a half recently, but I think that was one through the heat locker, right? Yeah, it was one a couple months back. It was one at our four year anniversary. So that's where we're at for these. So the 10 is listed at 17,000 and the 12 is at a modest 14,000. You know, the market has dipped a little bit on these because remember about a year ago or almost a year ago, I, I took a drive down to LA and we bought a pair and we sold it for like 25 yeah, grand. 25. We've sold a few at like 20, Five, well, we've sold one at 15, one at 20, I uh, had a winner. Like six. Yeah. yeah, so we've had a decent amount of those. I like the red one a lot, and then they released the, you know, he, Cali got the opportunity to design a couple more, and he had the Father of Assad threes, and then the leather pair, right, which is the Grateful, right? Or, or another, another one. one. These are called the Another Ones. So we had a size 10 set. This set, uh, as if you look at the receipts that we posted the other day, sold for about eighty nine. Yeah, eighty nine hundred a piece. So about seventeen grand for the set. Now, uh, the set really you just just gonna get all your text messages right now in the middle of this video. Really? You don't want to put that on silent? All right. Those are actually Taco Bell notifications that C's gets anytime that his orders are ready. Um, C's eats a lot of Taco Bell. He told me earlier that he feels that Taco Bell is the best taco place in town. It's kind of disappointing because C's is of Mexican heritage and you would think that he would have a little bit more respect for his fellow countrymen and their taco making skills. Taco Bell the best, huh? Sure. And then, uh, anyway, so um, yeah, this set sold for 17 grand. Which one of these do you like more, the leather or the suede? Um, I prefer this one. The Father of Assad's? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Same. I, I Only because it's something different that they've done, right? On this one, he actually switched it up from the last time. This one says Jumpman 23, Major Key, and Bless Up. Now, if you look at the left pair, on the, the, or sorry, the right pair, the, the other pair, yeah. If you flip that, that heel tab down, what's it say? Major Key. Bless up, Jumpman23. So he's actually got the same sayings, but in different order on them. Um, so he didn't switch up much. There's white laces, red laces with this I one. I think you There's had white. mentioned to me something about the Yeah, the so Jumpman. on that one, that was the first time Jordan's allowed, well, he, he kind of didn't want it to happen, but it happened. I think he was a little upset about that, He right? was a little upset about that, but 
It's the first time that there's any writing or anything besides air on a Jumpman logo on a Jordan shoe, right? And then these are 3M. Yeah, I know. Really bright. Let me see if I can get a picture and show the, the, the peoples what it looks like. Now, this other pair that I have in my hand is actually an eight and a half. Uh, it's my size. But the way my bank account is set up, I don't really have 10 grand to spend on one shoe that I'm gonna wear one time. Such a nice shoe. It is dope though. It's bleeding already, the suede. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, but these all sold, except for this one. This one uh, is gonna stay here at the shop. I wanna say it's listed at 10, 11 grand. And then the other shoe that we got in, and this is actually selling in about a week or so to the same person. Uh, only reason it hasn't sold to them was because we didn't get it in. Their next scheduled visit is in right. like a week or so. Transit. Yeah, so this is the Glitter One, which was part of the Justin Timberlake uh, Summer Legends of Summer Legends Tour. Of summer. So there was a whole bunch of different variants of this, right? There was one that's red, but it didn't have the glitter. There's one with the glitter, then there was one with a metal like toe box. Ones, right? Yeah, there was a few. We've actually had this that, a bunch of different that's times. Our third or fourth. We, we sold one, uh, what was it, Christmas? Yeah. Christmas. We even had one that was signed, like had a hat signed. Yeah. Um, these are dope. I like the red, but I don't like the glitter. And these, as you wear them, the glitter cracks. And it's, this is something more that's like, you, you just, just look at it. Yeah. What's this, like seven grand? Yeah. 69. So 17 grand, 21 grand, 38 grand. Uh, 42, 53 grand. You're looking at sixty thousand dollars worth of shoes right here. It's pretty wild. Um, it's pretty wild, man. What some of these shoes go for, and it's even crazier that they're coming into the store and we're moving them. You know, like when we started selling sneakers, I never thought. Did you think that we would be touching shoes no. like this and be like, oh yeah, we sold that for something? And a lot of times they're sold before they even get here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the wild part. Now, I have another deal. I, didn't, I don't know if I told you, but last night I worked a deal where we have, um, we got a $57,000 worth of shoes coming in and they're sold before they even get here. Um, so I'm going to try to do a review to kind of show what shoes are in that deal to kind of show you guys the type of inventory that comes in here because th even though we post a lot on Instagram, we don't get to post everything. Right, and uh, it is sometimes cool to kind of give focus on these on these gems that you don't see every day. I know you guys are paying attention to the gram, the live streams, the YouTubes to see what's the next thing that sees Jay, Joni, and the rest of the UN staff are going to show us. Um, you know, and I, I kind of want to try to get into, hey, check this out because I know even for me, um, this is stuff I I might not see again at some point. Like, yes, we've we've had a lot of these. Yes, we've had a lot of those, but. We the further right money. the further you get away from the releases it could be months it could be years it could be never that we see some of these again because in reality this wasn't something that was made readily to the public but um for us from here uh we got i go to north carolina in a week felipe you're not going to that are you no um and then from there is it vancouver or fort lauderdale first fort lauderdale so Florida first, Fort Lauderdale, February 2nd, gonna go out there, sneaker con, we're gonna be doing some buybacks and consignment. Um, and then the 9th, we're gonna be going to Vancouver and hanging out and checking out the vibes out there. I'm, I'm excited, first time out in Vancouver. And in between all that, I got New York. And now we're at 62 days, hopefully before the New York store opens. Be wild. I gotta buy all the shoes for that store. Yeah. My uh, my goal is ideally to, you know, in a perfect world, right? I have to buy at least two to three size runs of everything that's like hot. Every Yeezy. So every Nike. Yeezy one, every Nike Yeezy two. I want to buy two to three size runs. So there's 12 pairs in a size run. 
So 24 to 36 pairs of every one, right? And then I want, yeah, that's a lot of money, bro. And then uh, all the V1s, all the Nike, the sorry, all the Adidas V1s, all the V2s, all the um, 500s. Yeah, it is. Got to do all that with off whites. Got to. We, we got a lot of shoes Jordan to buy. 11s. Jordan Elevens, Jordan Ones, Threes. Just at the end of the day, I got to fill this store with the stuff you expect to see in the store, and we're gonna try to do that in the next like two months. From a couch. I might take a flight out to see uh, Scotty. I think I need to take. I might have. Yeah. So a couple days ago, I uh, tagged Sneaker Slut 23 on Instagram. He hooked me up with the uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma Sooner Fours. I'm probably going to go see him because he's got a bunch of good stuff uh, that we got to pick up, right? And uh, there's uh, Robert. I got. I want to check in with Rob. Hopefully, he's out at uh, Fort Lauderdale and he could save me a trip so I don't have to go his way. And, um, yeah, it's going to be fun, man. I'm going to try to document as much of it as I can. It's going to be insane. But as always, appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give this guy a follow for once on Instagram. He, he doesn't always post tacos from time to time. He posts, like, you know, on foots and awkward outfits and with cheesy smiles. But he's a great guy. He's uh, been part of the UN from day one. And uh, if it wasn't for season, his efforts, we wouldn't be where we are today. So a lot more mush stuff. Follow him. Thanks. Bye. Adios.